Canon 2 Extinction is the fifth record by the Trash Metal Legends Megadeth, uh, requested by Jack Sherman. And yeah, you know, you guys know, of course, that Megadeth is one of my favorite bands of all time, so. Uh, you know the rating already, or maybe you don't, but it's gonna be high, spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, fifth record, like I said, this is kind of more of a departure of the trash metal roots and go more into the classic heavy metal. Um, now yeah, I would still say it's kind of trashy together with, um, Euthanasia, which are both kind of, uh, trashy. But definitely their Rust in Peace record was kind of, uh, their last trash record, in my opinion. And then they kind of disbanded it with uh, Calm Down, but still, it has some trashy elements to it, to it but it's mostly heavy. Uh, so we have the first song, Skin On My Teeth, a uh, very heavy, trashy song. It is, well, it is mostly heavy, but it still has some pretty good, uh, trashy moments on it. I do really like it, it sounds really dark, it sounds really uh, Megadeth pinned. Um, yeah, so this song overall was enjoyable for me. It was a good experience. It was 3 minutes and 14 seconds to the point, sweet. And there you go. Um, then we have Symphony of Destruction, of course, with that riff. You know, that classic riff at the beginning. The solo by Marty Friedman is amazing. Uh, the song in general is a Megadeth classic. I can't talk further about it, but... It's it's Symphony of Destruction. I mean, come on, my great solo, uh, interesting uh, vocals, I have to say, but uh, it's still an amazing song, I think, and one of Megadeth's finest, really. Then we have Architecture of, of Aggression, and this is a pretty dark song. I think that this song is kind of overshadowed because it's right smacked in the middle of five of four classic songs. Uh, but I still don't. I still think that architecture of aggression is still a great tune. I still really enjoyed it, and it is kind of more the trashy old school metal uh, Megadeth. It's still enjoyable. It still is classic. It's been by David Ellison and Mustaine. So there we go. Um, yeah. So this was overall a great tune, and yeah, you know, it's it's a classic. It's three and a half minutes. It's kind of like skin on my teeth, but kind of even more underrated. Then we have Foreclosure of a Dream, of course that's classic riff. Du -du 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 -du. You know, that's kind of acoustic pins. Um, you know, guitar at the opening, which is really soothing and really uh, great to listen to. And then the solo of Marty Friedman, which actually becomes shredding at some point, which is actually really great. Um, I do really enjoy that, and just this song is kick-ass, it has trashy elements to it. It even has some country-esque tone switch, you know, with the acoustic, I do really enjoy that. And overall the song is just amazing, I do really love kind of like the melodic nature of the record while still being heavy. Uh, so that is always a plus. And then we have Sweating Bullets, which arguably has the greatest Megadeth riff of all time. Uh, you know, do do do. Crazy lyrics by Dave Mustaine. You know, that's kind of build up that they have, and then that's classic riff right there. Um, probably my favorite part is, you know, when they actually kind of sweet, sweet pick, I believe, at the middle section of the song where it goes like. And then the solo kicks in again. I fucking love that solo. That might be my favorite uh, Megadeth solo right there. Just amazing. It, it has a lot of feel. It sounds very melodic, very catchy. Sweating bullets. It sounds amazing as well. I'm not exactly sure what the, what they're all about, but it's it's still a kick-ass tune and it's still enjoyable. So there we go. Um, and might be my favorite, it is an amazing song. It is funny and amazing, That's, that is the power that Megadeth has. And then we have This Is My Life, which is kind of the dark, realistic, politics song about Megadeth. You know, Mustaine is busy with politics, and although I don't really like politics, you know, he's still an amazing musician, I think. Um, and he's talking about her, you know, this was my life, I'm getting uh, six feet under or something, because... Um, I'm not serving my country right or something. All that politic bullshit, but I don't know, Asmustain. 
I believe there's like a black guy uh, having a spoken word on there like they mistake you, 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 mo you mofo, you dumb as fuck boy, you, you're gonna die. You know, it's not exactly like that but it's kind of similar to that and I think this song was, was kind of funny. Uh, I still enjoyed the hell out of it but you know it was definitely an enjoyable song. Uh, then we have Calm Down to Extinction. This has a really enjoyable riff as well. You know, that do 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 in here, you know, and then that trashy riff as well. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I really love, you know, the bridge as well, or the chorus where it goes like, uh, we have the count down to extinction. You, you know, he, he made that a really catchy hook right there, which I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, so there we go. I really enjoyed it, and um, I, I thought it was one of the more underrated songs. Although, although it is a title track, but even title tracks get overlooked sometimes. So there we go. Uh, then we got High Speed Dirt. This is just a classic, you know, s speedy, trashy uh, sort of metal song. It is kind of enjoyable. It is kind of more of the more of the easy pinned records by the band, you know, because. Um, uh, you know they also have some difficult parts, but it's mostly it's mostly trashy. But there has some intelligence to it. That is why I love Megadeth. You know because Dave has a really intelligent way of songwriting, and that is especially showcased on High Speed Dirt. Just kind of a trashy song while still having some intricate patterns while still being kind of progressive as well. Um, so I did really enjoy this track. It was kind of speedy. It was kind of trashy, like old school Megadeth, just as I like it. Then we have Psychotron, this is kind of a crazy song right here, Psychopath-ish. Um, I really enjoy this song as well because it is just mainly Dave Mustaine going off and off and off and I, I really love that. I just love it, you know, when um, when Dave goes off and he goes on like this crazy tantrums like he has on uh, Psychotron. Um, and I think that the song is uh, great. I just think that you know the the kind of atmosphere and the kind of aggressiveness of this track is really crazy and really catches your ear. So this was another great, really enjoyable song by the band. Uh, it's crazy, but it's still consistent and it still you know remains a great song. And that is why Megadeth is such a great band. Now we have Captive Honor, and this is kind of the more uh, honorable, kind of the more respectable songs of uh, Megadeth because they're they're kind of paying tribute to the fallen soldiers. Um, I believe you can hear gun sounds, which are, I believe, sampled from Metallica's one, and Metallica also sampled that from something I believe. So they were just kind of um, making fun of Metallica there, I think, or he was just straight ripping them off. But you know, Metallica ripped. Dave off uh, with Kill Them All, so there we go. You know, with the four horsemen fucking off, which... Well, it, they didn't rip him off, but... They did... Kept all of his material that he wrote for Metallica, and then they kicked him out. Fucking douchebags. Um, yeah, but, you know, Captain Vonner, enjoyable song. It was a, a pretty, you know, heavy song, but still, you know... Um, you know, Dave is still paying tribute to the soldier, and I really love that. The song is kind of more mellow, but that is also what I like about it. Really enjoyable song, although it is a bit more mellow, but, you know, that is what I love about Megadeth. You know, that they're more mellow and more consistent and more diverse as well, which is uh, perfectly showcased in Captain Honor. Great title as well. And speaking of great titles, we have Ashes in Your Mouth, although I don't even smoke, but... You know, I know what uh, Dave is saying right there, you know, um, just dying, just death and, you know, people going up in smoke, ashes in your mouth, I guess. It is, I believe, a, um, a term that people use, but I, I don't know, but ashes in your mouth sounds like a great ass title. Um, you know, why, why do we go from here and should we really care? Uh, God have mercy, you know, as saying, um, please, God, don't fucking kill me because this song is so fucking great. I want to listen to it more. Um, I especially love, you know, the kind of um, the riff towards the middle section. You know, the you know, I can I can just imagine it, and you know, uh, 
you know, I can just imagine it and um, and keep headbanging to it. It's actually such a great track that I would actually showcase that headbang part because I just fucking love the song, man. Um, ashes to your mouth. There we go. I believe it's this part. amazing you know that you know what you just heard but uh yeah amazing riff i really loved it and it's an amazing closing song it's yeah it's probably my favorite song of the record it's it's trashy it has a length it is a great closure ashes in your mouth you know leaving a good taste in your mouth fucking up so probably my favorite of the record would be um symphony of destruction Foreclosure of a Dream, Sweating Bullet, and this one, Ashes in Your Mouth. And Skin of My, Skin of my Mouth was a great song. Um, Architectural Aggression was great. This Was My Love was good. Count to Extinction was great. High Speed Dirt was good. Psychotron was good. Captive Honor was good. And Ashes in Your Mouth is amazing. So, most of this record is amazing. I really love most of the record. Um, yeah, it it's basically is a flawless piece. I just think that... Uh, yeah, ba basically side one was flawless and um, yeah, I do think that's kind of to extension, uh, Captive Honor and Ash in Your Mouth were a really great track. I just think that High Speed Dirt was kind of the weaker track of the album and Psychotron, although fun, it kind of messes me up when I listen to it to this entire record. Psychotron is kind of that one song that kind of is out of place. It's still, it still is a great song but it kind of is kind of more distorted, kind of more different than the other records which makes it less consistent but it's still a great song in general so I just think that two songs are kind of you know they're good, they're, they're arguably great but they're not masterpieces like the other nine so there we go but still nine masterpieces out of eleven is still not a bad album that's still a near flawless piece so I'm gonna give this record a 9.6 Really great record, I really enjoyed it. Uh, might be the most underrated Megadeth album, I, I, although I believe it's the most sold, but who cares. Most underrated out of their, you know, rabbit fan base, I suppose, but there we go. Um, yeah, but let me know what you think about a uh, kind of two extension by Megadeth. I really enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Love me some Dave, love me some Megadeth, so there we go. If you want more Megadeth albums done, there uh, we can do it. I can do it because I still have to do uh, So Far So Good So What, um, Euthanasia, Cryptic Writings, uh, Risk, I guess. Their 90s albums are, yeah, I would say all of their 90s albums are great, even Risk to, to some sort of degree. Uh, I actually enjoyed their records, so there we go. Um, and I still enjoy their Zero's output, but 90s Megadeth, 80s and 90s Megadeth, cannot go wrong with that, so there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video, like I said, do all the things I just said, and peace. Ashes in your fucking mouth, man. <laughs> uh, great trash tune.